Here's how to transform your Lexus emblems from this to this using PlexiDip. You'll need a microfiber cloth, some Q-tips, cotton swabs, some newspaper, some masking tape, the blue painter's tape, some toothpicks, and finally the Plasti Dip itself, which you can get at Home Depot fairly cheap, five or six bucks. So we start by cleaning the emblem and the surrounding areas with your microfiber cloth. Make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. Tip, if you've washed your car, please wait at least 24 hours to make sure there's no lingering water or moisture. To get into the finer details between the letters or inside each of the, the letters or digits, uh, use your cotton swab. That will get all the dirt and dust and any oils that may be on there. Because if you don't have this really clean, the Plasti Dip won't last as long and have, would have a tendency to peel off. Then we mask around the emblems, uh, leaving you know, an inch or two uh, around the emblem. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just you know, leave enough room so that uh, you know, the paint outside the edges of the emblem itself is easily you know, gripped and pulled. You'll, you'll see what I mean toward the end. So continue to mask off and protect your, your car with plenty of, of paper. Don't, don't skimp on the paper. If you happen to get a little overspray onto the paint somewhere, you can just take your microfiber cloth and rub on it and it, and it comes off fairly easily. Again, uh, mask off around the emblem, leave a little margin of an inch or so, and make sure you cover uh, as much as the car as you think you may need uh, as far as to protect it from overspray. You can never be too careful when masking off your car. I myself kind of went a little overboard, but that's the way I am. Now take your can of Plasti Dip and shake it very well before applying. Your very first coat should be very thin. In fact, some of the chrome color should still be visible through this very first thin coat. This is very important that you spray multiple coats of very thin layers. This is the first coat. I applied a total of six very thin coats allowing each coat to dry about 30 minutes each. Also, be sure to spray at all angles, up, down, and left and right, to cover all sides of the emblems. I wanted the paint to dry overnight, so I peeled off the excess masking paper and cut out the rear view camera so I could back into my garage for the overnight drying. The next morning, uh, here I am peeling off the, the Plasti Dip, taking some of the paper off first, and you'll notice that as I'm peeling, the Plasti Dip is, is shown there. It's, it's very stretchy and rubbery, and the key is to put your fingers or your hand underneath like that, and pull outward and the the surrounding paint will naturally cut right around the edges of the the emblems and logos so the key is to get under and pull straight out towards you there I'm doing a little bit of cleanup there was no overspray but I just that's me being me now we want to remove the Plexi Dip that's inside the logo. So using your toothpick, uh, try to get a little piece peeled up 
on the section that you want to remove uh, long enough so that you can grab it with your fingers and again pull straight back and it will naturally cut itself around the edges of the logo. Here I am doing the other side. I, I'm starting to push a toothpick in there. It, tooth, a wooden toothpick should not scratch your car if you're gentle with it. So again, pull the plexi dip out and this logo is done. Repeat with the other logo. I'm moving my camera lights just to give you a better idea of what it looks like. And here's the other logo after I peeled off the plexi dip. I do believe the blacking out of the emblems on this particular color of an NX Nebula Gray looks very nice. Plexi Dip also comes in other colors as well. I've seen pink emblems on cars before, but again, choose a color that complements your car's color. And here's the finished product outside in the sunlight. By the way, if you want to convert your rear turn signals to LEDs, just follow the link on the screen.